Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we demonstrate the split command in Pointwise. The split command splits an entity at a user specified XYZ, IJK, constant XYZ coordinate, or UV location, and is available for all entities except unstructured domains and blocks. The split command is selection sensitive, and the available options that appear within the split panel depend on the type of entity which you select. The split panel can be accessed from the Edit menu and contains several frames that allow users to control how entities are split. In the split location frame, the XYZ entry field allows users to enter the specific XYZ coordinates of the point where the entity will be split. If the entity is a domain or surface, then the XYZ coordinates correspond to a point on a computational line along which it will be split. Similarly, for blocks, the XYZ coordinates will represent a point on a computational plane by which it will be split. The advanced frame within the split location frame contains additional options by which the split location can be specified such as UV or an XYZ offset. If connectors or database curves are selected, then the curve options frame of the split panel becomes visible for setting a specific location, a percent of the curve's arc length, a control point location, a grid point location, or a constant X, Y, or Z coordinate. The split direction frame is available whenever a database surface domain, or block has been selected. Here, I've selected a simple cube structured block. If I enter coordinate 5, 1, 5 into the XYZ entry field, then I can toggle the splitting plane using the I, J, or K radio buttons, depending on the constant computational plane that I wish to use for splitting the block. Notice that the points selected using the XYZ coordinates along the splitting plane that will be used are highlighted in the display window. Once an initial split location has been defined, then the offset options in the advanced frame become available to enter offset coordinates from the first split location to allow users to split the entity in additional locations. Lastly, click on OK to split the selected entity at the prescribed split locations or click Cancel to exit the split panel without making any changes to the selected entity. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.